Assalamu alaikum. My name is Canadian Hijabi or Nikolia, whichever you know me by. Um, a lot of people have been asking for my convergence story, so here it is. I hope you can hear me. My mic kind of sucks. Um, at the age of about eight, maybe seven, I was baptized in the Roman Catholic religion or faith, I guess you should say. And um, I went to Catholic schools almost my whole life. Um, so I was taught to believe Jesus was God or wasn't God. I don't even understand it. So around the age 12, I started uh, trying to figure out who I was. It was a high school thing, so I did a lot of things that I wasn't too proud of. And I decided that I needed to find something that would help me become a better Muslim, or sorry, help me become a better person. So um, I started learning about different religions. And when 9 11 happened, um, I was very against Arabs, I guess. Um, my aunt actually works in that building, but thank God she wasn't there that day. Um, Sometimes I make little jokes and say she was the reason it, it happened because she was not at work, but, um, yeah, so at the age of 14, um, I just started thinking, you know, there's got to be more to Christianity than, or more to any religion than what I've seen in a Christian faith, so, um, I started started looking and when I got into 11th grade I actually met some Arabs and you know I asked them you know, the most stupidest questions like why why does your religion you know allow this why are you guys like to bully yourself up is it like something you do for a part-time job um, some of them didn't like it um, but once they started teaching me about their religion you know I felt really comfortable with them and and about the age of I convert, 17, um, I converted to Islam. Um, I don't know why I did. I guess it was the only religion that kind of made sense. Um, it's, it's really weird because I actually truly don't know why I converted, and to this day I still don't know. Um, a girlfriend of mine converted and she left so I thought well maybe that's what I was supposed to do but actually I started getting into the community and I actually became <laughs> sorry about that I became um, a teacher at the London Islamic School where I live and uh, I got you know used to being a Muslim and wearing the hijab and uh, I had to deal with a lot of slack from Muslims and non-Muslims alike um, I had Muslims who said that, you know, I would never be a Muslim, and I'm just a wannabe, and then I had, you know, people call me race traitor, um, I'm still white, so I don't know how I'm betraying my race, but I guess because white people are Christians that I'm betraying it. Um, as you can see, I wear hijab, I put it on about two, three years ago, I don't know exactly, I know it was on New Year's because a friend was staying over, I scared the crap out of her. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think that's really it. Um, my family didn't accept it at the beginning. I actually waited. I actually wanted to wait a year before I told them, but um, a hijabi doctor kind of spilled it out, so that didn't help. Um, yeah, but now, you know, they're a little bit more accepting. And my brother still makes jokes, so, like, you know, I'll try to insult the, the prophets. But really, you know, he apologized after. He just thinks it's a joke. But, um, it's doing pretty good. Oh, my cat just jumped on the computer. Okay. Um, I don't know what else you guys want to know. So I've had so many questions like, you know, how is it being a new Muslim? Well, it's, it's hard, but it's fun at the same time. Um, it's something I didn't quite expect. I have to say, sorry. <laughs> a little bright of a cat. Um, 
I think she's Muslim, seriously. She'll do things when uh, I talk about Islam. Like, she'll cuddle up to me and she'll... If I take dua, for some reason, she has to rub herself on me. So I don't know if she's just, like, a Muslim cat or... I try to make it so she doesn't eat pork. Anyways. <laughs> um, so another question. Um, problems with diet face with Islam. I don't really think there's a problem. It's just... The thing for me is learning Arabic is not the easiest thing. Um, people expect you to pray and, and read the Quran, and but they don't understand that we weren't born with this faith, and I don't know how they expect us to know how to pray in, you know, let's say, a month or two, like maybe a, a born Muslim would. But, yeah, if you have any more questions, you know, just ask me. Um, yeah, assalamu alaikum.